regular meeting of the St. John Hudson USD 350 Board of Education to order. Uh, first thing is welcome to all the visitors. It's nice to see a gallery. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> Any additions or changes to the agenda? Yes, sir. We have three additions. Uh, we have the Blue Sea Memorial Proposal, uh, Annual Insurance Renewal, and dates for the future of wood and metal. And uh, Chevy Lumen. It's not on there because that's also included in there. Mm -hmm. So we have the other items. Mr. President, the new directory for out of Virginia items has stated. Sorry. It's been moved and second to approve the agenda of uh, added items. Uh, all those in favor, right hand. Uh, the consent agenda, then to the last meeting, May 2nd and 11th, as well as the financial statements and warrants. Mr. President, I move to approve the consent agenda. Been moved and second to approve the consent agenda. Is there any discussion? Hearing that, all in favor, right hand. No same sign, 6 0. Okay. Patron comments. Patrons, now you're done. Okay. We'll move on to the first item of business. Yes. Uh, through the elementary and secondary handbook changes. I don't believe the elementary has any changes. I did. I kind of cheated around earlier. We should have one there. We just uh, what there is just uh, three items. There's three areas we just revised. All I did we, we changed the wording a little bit. You can see where I put in the first paragraph of each one. The current year where it says that, and then you can see the revision. And some of it will be, some of the wording I just went ahead and included what's in the handbook now. And then you'll be able to, when you look, you'll be able to tell not everything is changed, it's just the wording in, in each of those areas. Appropriate or inappropriate to enforce it strictly? Yeah, we, we tried to, with, when we talked to the staff at the end of the school year, we tried to put, put a couple things in there that would make it a little more concrete instead of vague. Is that kind of what you Yeah, because yeah. I've, I've had some parent comments about um, the desire to see dress codes enforced more, more strictly because of the, the felt like there have been some of the instructions that have not been here. So I wonder if we need to put enough detail into this that it gives the administrators what they need to, you know, consistently and, and um, uh, strictly is the right word, but, you know, um, enforce it to a degree that we can Make sure that the, the classrooms don't have the disruptions. Right. Yeah, we have to make it so, and put something in there so it can be consistent. Yeah. That's correct. And then hopefully, we, when we talk about it, by adding a couple items, particularly the shorts, hopefully that was something that would make a little more fun. Mm -hmm. And because that, that can vary when we talk about the middle, when we talk about shorts, what we have now is a little bit vague. So that depends on how often those legs are, how short they are. So. But now we, you know, it's pretty obvious to tell what it does. It goes to the agency. Are you talking about the punishment that would be handed down? No, that too, you know. I mean, it could be that. Or right. You're just talking about that. Because there's a lot of stuff here that they can't do. It's pretty other than the punishment part of it. It's all here. The problem is that you have a yeah, it, it, it's hard. Yeah, it's specific. It's specific, and sometimes it's 
four calories cover everything. So I'm not just try that work to see or something. So we try it. But hopefully this is a little more concrete than what it was. Yeah, you're right, it is. A little more concrete than you know, the, the hoodie parts we're talking about there. Just, you know, not, not that people think about structure, it's just keep the hood on. We don't have a major problem with that, but it just fell without now. It wasn't in there earlier. Yeah, but I can take that off. Give me another pair of shorts. It won't change. I think a couple of comments I've heard is just consistency in the students that everybody's treated with them. Bring them to the more consistent with that. So. Okay. <clears throat> you think it'd be helpful to have something in there that students will be sent home if if their clothing is not in compliance with school dress code? Does that kind of open the door for kids just to wear something in the so they can go home? No. <laughs> you know, when you have kids, they'll have parents at home. Um, that don't care and then it's free ride out the door. Yeah, it would. So you kinda need to think maybe leave it up to people We need them in school. I would prefer it. girls have had to leave the classroom and go put on different clothes and come back. That might be actually worse than going, no, give them something really ugly. <laughs> Any other things about other revisions that are on here? Mr. President, I move the board approve the elementary and high school handbook changes as Second. Second. And move the second to approve the handbook changes for elementary and high school as presented. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, right hand. No same sign, 6 0. Thank you. You might be right back here. This is the problem here, right hand. Yeah, I just mentioned it. I did, yeah, I'm just going to make it get hard. Okay, next item of business is disposal of excess property. Yes, we have um, on one of the agenda added items we have uh, feature the wood, metal, and the uh, boom. So before we can uh, dispose of that and take bids for that, that board has to take action and go to do that. So that's a bad item. So I need an uh, action item here and a motion to uh, dispose of the excess property. Is everything spoken for so far? Have have got the bids for everything? Well, okay. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll discuss that. Yeah, we'll get to this. Yeah, we'll go to just one of the added agenda if we get for a video. Yeah, we'll do that. Well, I want to vote to dispose of it unless we know it's going to you know? I'll end up someplace. Yeah, we'll end up someplace. Okay. And I'll write it down. I would agree with the board. Latitude for administration to dispose of excess property. Second. They moved and seconded that uh, to give the administration the authority to dispose of excess property uh, 1996 to the Luna. 86. Actually, it's 96. Is it 96? That's a typo? It's typo. It's typo. It's typo. Bleacher Wood and the Scrap. Is there any, any Oh, second. Do you have a second? Yeah, I'm saying that. Sam did. I'll just wait for a second. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't have a second. the excess property. Uh, all those in favor. Uh, right hand. All those same time. Uh, six up. State and local financial stuff. On your, on your desktop, you should be able to, uh, you should have a, 
global the account balance sheet as of the end of May. I asked a question earlier, if you killed the bills were kept down to, uh, because of what Chris the air conditioning went turned on, so there was a whole cost and budget to line down. One we got out a week earlier than last year. So, and then what kind of cooperated in April? Now and for the board to grant authority to the administration to make the final transfers, financial transfers of Second. Second move and second to grant uh, authority to the administration to make financial transfers and adjustments for the rest of here. Uh, any discussion? All in favor, right hand. By the same sign, 6-0. Uh, question five is the resolution to change the meeting date in July. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, the scheduled one is July 5th, I think. We'll do this in conflict uh, with board members being able to uh, attend the uh, a different date, whether it's July 11th or whatever. There's a different date that board members could all attend. The reorganization will be Yes. 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 Is that the election officers who yes. that meeting? My daughter's having a baby in July, so I don't know if I'll be well to do it. You'll be on every committee that, <laughs> that will come Please up. Please don't. <laughs> Take the chances you can. Know, you might be resident. <laughs> Does July 11th sound okay? I'll just be the following Monday. Monday. If that is the first Monday. The I'll try. Mr. President, I move the board ratify, or oh, I'm reading the wrong one. Uh, the board changed the regular scheduled meeting from July 5th to July 11th. Second. 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 Yes. 
second. They moved the second to approve the uh, board change the regular scheduled meeting date from July 5th to July 11th. Still at the same time, 7 p.m. All in favor, right hand. All the same sign. Six uh, Item six, negotiated agreement. Yes, we uh, approved the negotiated agreement and I'll uh, refer to the second Um I had the privilege of serving with uh, Mr. Woodward and uh, Mrs. Long as the board's representatives to meet with the teachers for negotiations. We did that on Thursday the 19th uh, in the afternoon. The main points uh, that were negotiated, uh, if you want to refer to the document that you have uh, on your desktop, you can. On page five, um, The main thing to note there is that we negotiate to add $200 to the base salary, which would raise it to $32,200. Um, one of the secondary things of that that the teachers ask is if that $200 additional could be paid as a one-time payment in November, and it basically costs us the same, so uh, we agreed to that. That's on page five. And on page six, um, we negotiated that as long as the state uh, continues to fund ESOL uh, at the rate they are, that the $500 that we initially put in as a stipend uh, for those that hold an ESOL certification would continue each year. Uh, if, they, if the state cuts it, then we would have to revisit that. So. Um, of the 16 people, I can report this also, the 16 people that took the class, 15 have now passed the test. So uh, that's pretty exciting. And, and we, uh, through the course of negotiations, there's at least some friendly ribbing of some of those that were at the table negotiating whether they should take the class as well. So uh, we'll see if that happens. You got to name names on no, that? No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. So. Um, also on page 12, <clears throat> um, a change um, that we didn't catch last year when we extended our length of our day by 15 minutes, we didn't adjust the language of the contract to reflect that. So uh, and there are a couple places where it said six and a half hour clock hours constitute one school day, so we simply revised those to be six and three quarter clock hours. And then finally, um, item five, um, each year teachers get 10 sick days um, that they can accumulate. Uh, they also get three personal days that they can accumulate up to five. Um, we do ha sometimes have people that will use all five. And so um, in looking at the, the data, it's not an excessive number of people that do that. And in fact, we have quite a few people that don't use all the personal days. So something we thought we could try uh, to see how it works that would give a little more latitude to some people that need a few more personal days is if they use up all their personal days, they could then convert three sick days to personal days. Um, they, can't, they can only be for immediate use, not to create a balance of personal days. So like if someone has used them all up has some sort of a family thing come up or something like that, they need an additional uh, personal day, they can convert a sick day up to three. So, um, I don't believe it's something that will be abused. We've not, uh, as I said, we've not had people use all the personal days very often anyway. Um, but most times, if they needed it, it would be nice for them to have that option. So. Those are the primary things. I wanted to add that I don't know if it was from, how many years have we done the mediator? This is our fifth year, I think. We've done four, and then this year he couldn't be here. Okay. And I don't know if it was left over from his good work that he's done, or because he wasn't here at all, but we were in and out in an hour. Yeah and had everything done where 
I know the first year I did it, it was two different days, maybe, working on it. So, Carol did a wonderful job. Comments? Mr. President, I move the board ratify the 2010-11 negotiated agreement. Is that correct? It should be in my Alright, 11-12. Yeah. Yeah, I read what it said. Second. Move the second that the board ratify the 2011-2012 negotiated agreement as presented. Any further discussion? All in favor, right hand. Opposed, same sign. Six so. Added agenda items. First item is the lease memorial proposal. Yes, uh, this proposal um, for the new for the new building on the east entrance on the north side. Could be used in that area to put something in the location in the early stages and so just presenting it to the board so that um, you'd be thinking about it in memory of uh, Jeff and Emma. So you can picture where the east, the east entrance of the new early end building and into the north in that area there. Does that take up part of the lawn? Area, or is that like a planter box or part of the lawn? Part of the way I understand it would be the lawn, isn't it? Yeah. There's, uh, it's a confined area, but it is all grass. On because the it's the obviously it's like an enclosing it, so. Um, they, uh, Teresa Miller is one who, with the support of, I think, probably a dozen teachers, maybe, I don't know the total number, but oh, they were interested in doing that as a memorial. Um, their suggest their idea was to put in some sort of uh, native grasses and flowers sort of thing. Um, the board does not have to take action on this tonight. Um, um, if you'd like, it could be requested. They maybe come up with a more formal proposal to present at the next meeting. To look at. Um, we have done other memorials around, um, but nothing like this that required. Ongoing upkeep. Were they requesting funding? No, it's all this would be done for donations. They've already been collected. That's my only question is that uh, two years down the road, uh, if it's deteriorated, who's responsible for it? <coughs> Concerning a proposal to this board, the staff.
Yeah, it's actually going to be a little bit lower than it has been. And uh, with the uh, aluminum on there, it'll go down a little bit. You can take that off. And then uh, I understand also the used bus that we'll be selling will also be taken off of that later. So now we have another vehicle that will go on there. But it's already it's down anyway, so it could come down a little bit more. But those are the three areas of property. You can see a list of all you know, the two pages. You can see a list of everything else to pay. President, I would move that we approve the insurance package that was presented in this evening for the next year. Second. We move the second to approve the 2011-2012 insurance package that was presented. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, right hand. Those same sign. Very 6-0. Bids for bleacher, wood, and Chevy Luna. Uh, we have one bid for the Chevy Luna from Steve Young for $475. So, recommendation to accept that. Uh, we have uh, two bids. Let's take care of that first. Okay. okay. What is the value of that? What is I think that would depend on who you ask. Yeah. Uh, if you, if you ask some people, it would be worth as much as the Fred Flintstone. Right? That's the car that we use just about everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the number 24. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a dandy. Yeah. I'm not sure the value. Google. Yeah, the yeah, value is more than that. Um, but that is yeah. in fair condition, which I would not describe it in fair condition. It's pretty worn around the edges. It, it is starting to use a lot of air. <laughs> Air conditioner has to be repaired by every two months. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guessing. I know it goes for more than 450. The 475. That's the only day I think. Sixty thousand. Sixty million. Do you feel that you could get huh? some more money somewhere else? Well, that was off the five hundred. It's a big cut. I wonder if we can see how we can get it. Without uh, too much advertising expense. How do we get paltry amounts? Buses though, right? I mean, wouldn't it be a bigger market for cars? Okay. I'm thinking there might be, but I'm not going to be more. Six up. 
Okay, now we'll have the bleacher room. The bids? Yes, we have uh, two bids. Uh, we have one for $510, $510, and one for $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> um, $5,000. For the wood. Just the wood? For the wood. Okay. So it would be for a condition to uh, accept the bid from uh, Sean Collins for $5,000. Thank you. It's definitely worth that. I am going to accept the bid for $5,000 for the second to accept the bid for $5,000 for the wood. Is there any discussion? All in favor, right hand. Those same side, six up. And now the bid for scrap money. We have one bid for a thousand dollars. The recommendation would be to not accept that. Because we can get nowhere. And we need to make less time. I agree. I agree. We need more than that. That's not a big deal. Anybody check that? I don't know for sure. Current price is around $300. Really? Same cracks we are every day. Oh, no, 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 no. But that's for prepared. You know, for so the hip flash away to the hip. How many times are you going to say that? Yeah, I don't, I don't know the, what, the, what the exact bid was or what the amount you'd get for bid was. It'd be more than a thousand. Well, they, they, they charge you for uh, the disposal unit, bring it down here and set it up. Actually, won't charge you. Yeah, I'm hoping, you know, we've, hopefully the plan would be that uh, if you take out the metal, you will be able to just take it out and load it. But don't they charge you for bringing a, a container down? Probably would. Actually, does it? They all set one free. Check with Acme before you find it. Yeah, we've had him on our farm. We have a bid right here, so the question is whether to accept that bid or not. Or he's suggesting that one. Yeah, I agree. Well, I'm saying there's more than five tons of metal in there? I bet there is. I bet there is quite a bit. It's been down from I bet there is quite a bit. I bet there's more than five tons, yeah, in that gym. So I don't know. Pretty sure a thousand pounds is quite a bit. What was the bid five hundred? Well, the bid was a thousand. Just place it. I do not to accept the bid. That was the continue checking the prices. Well, it's fun because I think you can get rid of it. Also. Second, to not accept the bid for the metal, scrap metal. Any further discussion? All in favor, right hand. All the same sign. Okay. Alright, we're on to communication. Uh, board member, start with board. It's the same year as the last time we had a set of two weeks ago. We'll report to Bill. Alright. Worked on giving up scholarships for the foundation of the USB. It's an excellent scholarship. We're still a board, but good job.
places earlier, just a copy of the activity accounts, which uh, you can see as of today, which you need to print it out for you. So you can see the, if there's any questions about any balances uh, of any of the activity accounts, or any of the accounts in the activity fund, I should say. Shorts are longer-legged than they are. 
Yeah, these are 92% polyester. Yeah, we just have to make sure they were, obviously they didn't fit in correctly. So, <coughs> you know, there aren't too many girls on our team. We've got some small girls. So what's the, so, when you talk about ordering and replacing, what's the number of the things you want to order? Like how many are you going to order? Is it a set of 12? Is it a 10? Is it 40? With volleyball, you're looking at that. With high school volleyball, we're looking at 20, I believe, 18 to 20. So what happens to the old people? Well, we just keep them, but eventually, sometimes in the past, I suppose, uh, I think, uh, what we've, actually, we've actually kept them around, and sometimes kids could buy them later on, or people could buy them, or we could sell them. And, the junior them. High and sometimes, if you, sometimes we, we pass things down in basketball before we pass that. Basketball, you want down boys. Yeah, so how many good. years is the current volleyball uniform going to be? Six. Six I believe it's six. Six, six seasons? Yeah, okay. and, and it's longer because we had to skip. No, I'm just, that, that doesn't matter. That, that my question is how long Yeah, it six. And we were going to get, actually we were going to get junior high volleyball last year. But when we started with the rotation again, Doing equipment replacement again. We were so late. It was in August already, so we couldn't get fall sports done in time. So we had to kind of move the fall sports back in there. That's why we're doing volleyball now instead of doing college. How old are the junior highs? Did they get junior highs this year? Yeah, they're even older. So, and, and the basketball. I'd have to check to make sure about high school girls basketball. It's just like, you know, five or six years old. Six or seven. Yeah. Hey, what's the uniform like that's going to run? Yeah, we're going to try to get we're going to try to get a junior high. When I talked to a, a gentleman today, we're going to try to get a junior high set. Uh, high school set. We're going to try to get. Uh, I think I got. I had a sheet with me. We're going to try to get a set for high school. I want to say seventy-five dollars for a set. Okay. That's two colored shirts and a front short. That's actually just one. Do we have a whole home? Yeah, then we'd have, to, we'd have to decide on That's a top and a bottom. Yeah, top and a bottom. Top and a bottom. And, bottom. and then we can try to get junior high, hopefully for around 50. Now, if we don't go with that Mizuno top, though, and we went with the Razorback top, it would be cheaper. Right. It'd be cheaper than the It does Mizuno. depend. It does vary depending on brand, but I guess. Mm -hmm. So what's the... Mizuno uh, is uh, higher than why would the junior high be cheaper than the hospital? Well, this, uh, this top, that the, the top that the junior high is looking at, this particular top they're looking at, either one of these, these aren't Mizuno brand. This one's a Don Allison brand. It, it's a lot cheaper than Mizuno. And this one's a High Five brand. It's a lot cheaper than Mizuno. That's what they're looking at for junior high. That's why they'd be cheaper for junior high than high school. So are the shorts the same too? Yeah, the shorts would be actually the shorts would be different for junior high. They're a different kind of shorts. Uh, they're not they're not made like that. They're actually made a little differently. They're actually a little bigger. They're like a little more hard. Like the basketball shorts? Kind of kind of more like kind of more like that, yes. You know, the junior high is. Oh that well we, we got a new one, we'll be talking about that. We got to do it. Um, Mrs. Mrs. Falk used to be a coach and she's still doing the ordering. Oh, that's right. She's still going to do that. All right. Even though she's not coaching. Anymore. So, yeah, that's that kind of gives you an idea how on the equipment replacement, just trying to keep that, get that back on track, keep it up to date so we can keep the uniforms in rotation as best we can. Um, and, uh, sometimes there's maybe three teams that are up, sometimes there's four. Next year it just happens to be uh, two junior high sports and two high school sports. And we have, the, we have the rotation all the way. We have it, when I modified it, after we, after we skipped it, after we set out a year, we modified it so it's, it goes to 2021 or 2022. We can 
modify it if we need to. And we may, you know, as uh, budget and stuff as things come around and how we just do the best we can with what we have. It's nice after a while, depending on how many washings you get, how many things, how many times you uh, run through the washer, how many times you, you use them over and over again, they do, they do wear out. And uh, I know it's, it does take money, it's costly, but it does make a difference uh, what you look like when you're playing something. It does make a difference. Kids take pride, and kids take pride in what they look like. And I, and I realize that we're not here for volleyball, we're not here for basketball. I realize that. But it's, so, if you didn't go to the top of the line for the high school, then what's up here the second pick? Say that if you didn't go. If they didn't take the, the yellow one down. If they didn't take this ratio back. If they didn't take that one, what would be the next pick? I think it would be your, your no, next choice. This, uh, this style is a little bit different as well. This is a different style. I like it. But that would be a blue one. And well, that's a Mizuno nice, yeah. top there. Okay. And the uniforms we have now are they're all short anyhow. All the tops are short and the neck and the be the next are so these longer. What's that? Are these longer? These, yeah. And see when they're tailored like that, you don't wear them out or because right now, I mean it doesn't have okay. we're showing midriff anyhow. What's the price of this one? They'll be they'll be around sixty eight dollars. Which one do you like? This oh, I like that. I just like the neck on there. This is a nice. And this is a good one. This is a good one. This no, I didn't want to put it in front of that. Is that a lighter weight where it helped with the sweat? Yeah, it's a dry fit. And, yeah. and we don't have that in our uniforms either. So. so are we needing a motion on something here? Or? Oh, oh, no, no, we don't need oh. it. No, I'll just kind of give it to you. Just okay. kind of letting you know about how we keep in the equipment replacement and yeah. just showing you the volleyball. And when we have samples, when we order basketball, we can. Do the same thing with it when it gets time to do that. So, I didn't bring any football jerseys. I just didn't think it was part of football jerseys. There's not too much there as far as you know, getting this or anything. But well, thanks. I just wanted you to kind of be aware of how we started the equipment replacement again and how we try to keep that going and then what we're looking at for next year specifically. Those four mm -hmm. different sports. So, and, and that Coach Wade came just to like, so she could answer any questions that anybody had that I couldn't answer about that. Yeah, we can use it for that too, of course. 
What's our estimated uh, replacement cost for that this year? For the, for the year coming up? No. Yeah, for, the, for the four sports, we're going to look. It's going to be 10000 or so for those four sports, 10000 but maybe a little over. And I, what I do is when I go through that, I kind of ballpark at the beginning of each year. And then when we start this year, I'll do the following year, and I'll kind of see where we're at and kind of just get an estimate. We're close, and hopefully we'll be a little bit under all that. That's kind of that's the goal, obviously. We're looking at 10, a little bit over 10,000, what the goal, what the uh, probably is for those four sports. And then I just have to adjust uh, in my building budget. Just have to adjust accordingly. All right. Oh, you know, miscellaneous on the miscellaneous. Uh, I just have that uh, our district made uh, adequate yearly progress uh, just from the state assessments this past spring. So I thought I would make sure. Uh, with preliminary reports, we uh, and I don't see the reason why those would change. So, for what mm -hmm. that's worth, we, uh, okay. the district, uh, every student, all the students that take those tests, uh, will hit it again next year. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah, well, I have one quick thing. Um, I have uh, written a proposal to be part of a delegation uh, involved in develop developing some partnerships uh, with China. Um, it's kind of a two-part project. One, to develop uh, I don't know what the right term is, uh, a bi-directional language program. Uh, it wouldn't require us to have any additional staff because it would all be done over the internet. Um, and then also could lead to some, a second part which could be some partnerships with exchanges with students or possibly um, something you know, that falls under economic development, I don't know. But I wrote a proposal to be included and we'll see whether I get accepted or not. So. Who is this group? Uh, it's through a group called the College Board. Um, if you want more information, I can do that. We'll see what happens from there. Okay. <coughs> All the items in the regular session. Uh, executive session. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, we um, go into executive session for 10 minutes to discuss personal. Personal, yes. Sure. Then move the second that we go into executive session for 10 minutes for the purpose of discussion of personal matters uh, in this room, which includes administration. And in favor, right hand. Those things on, so it's up. 10 minutes. Like make a recommendation that uh, we hire Wendy Hacker as counselor slash social studies teacher for the 2011-12 school year. So moved. Second. And moved for second. Second is to hire Wendy Hacker as the social studies slash counselor for the 2011-12 school year. All in favor of right hand. Both same sign, so so. I'd like to recommend that we hire Joel Bell as high school science teacher for the 2011-12 school year. So moved. Second. Moved and second to hire Joel Bell as the high school science teacher for the 2011-12 school year. All the right hand. Those signs, 6-0. Mr. Schwartz, just second the motion. Mark. Uh, we'd like to recommend that we approve the supplemental duties as presented. So moved. Second. Okay, move and second to approve the supplemental as presented. All in favor, right hand. No same yeah. sign, 6 0. Thank you, Great. All right, you have any other items? Nope, don't have any other items. Uh, future agenda items that's going to have. Okay, just remember that the next board meeting will be July the 11th, 7 o'clock in this room, reorganization. And Mr. Dennis, I do thank you for your 
eight years of service. God, that's a yeah. Game. Two and a half. Oh, I forgot that. Half a year. Mm -hmm. Half a Two. Half term. Half term. Ten years. years. It's been a long time. It's been fun. Uh, it's been my pleasure to serve with each and every one of you. And I think that goes for Carol, too. Outstanding. Good work. Oh, oh you <laughs> Wow. We're just thanking you. We're sending thanking us off, you. Carol. Oh, we are. I'm glad I'm here in time. <laughs> Thank both of you. How many years? Eight. 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 Eight.